VMware or VirtualBox, Hyper-V or Kimu, which virtualization tool is best? Hey everyone and welcome to today's comparison of the four top vi vi virtualization tools VMware, VirtualBox, Hyper-V and Kimu. If you're wondering which one is best for you, stick around and we'll break it all down. Let's get started. VMware is one of the most well-known virtualization tools offering both free and paid versions. It provides excellent performance and is popular for enterprise-level applications. VMware Workstation and VMware Fusion are the most common choices for personal and business use. For its pros, high performance and stability, great for enterprise environments and user-friendly interface. For the cons, it has limited features in the free version and paid plans can be expensive for personal use. Or VirtualBox, backed by Oracle, is a completely free and open source virtualization tool. It's known for being lightweight and easy to use, supporting a wide range of operating systems. For the pros, it's 100% free and open source. It's cross-platform compatibility, Windows, Mac OS or Linux, and it's active community and support. For the cons, it has lower performance compared to VMware and less enterprise-focused features. Hyper-V is Microsoft virtualization tool that's built into Windows Pro and Enterprise versions. It's tailored for Windows users and integrates seamlessly with the Windows operating system. Built into Windows, so no extra installation required, high performance on Windows environments, and it's great for managing virtual machines at scale. It's only available on Windows Pro or higher, and it's limited support for non-Windows guest operating systems, and it requires hardware visualization. Now for Kimu. It's a powerful and open source emulator and virtualizer. Unlike the others, it doesn't rely on hardware virtualization and supports a wide range of operating systems, making it ideal for advanced users who need versatility and flexibility. Completely free and open source, supports various guest operating systems, and doesn't require hardware virtualization. Not as user friendly as others, but can be slower without hardware virtualization, and it requires more technical knowledge to set up. For conclusion, each of these tools excels in different areas, so if you need a powerful enterprise solution, VMware is the way to go. And Hyper-V is perfect for Windows professionals, while Kimo offers flexibility. So ultimately the best choice depends on your specific needs. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave a comment below with which tool you're planning to use. See you in the next video.